Now before you go ahead and print off your report, it's really a good idea that you look at it and print preview first because if I come up here and I click print and I didn't go into print preview, even though it looks good in the report view, like it'll fit on a page, well, let me show you what happens. When I right click and go to print preview, what you see in here is what's going to come out of your printer. Whoa, glad I looked at my print preview first. Let me go ahead and click to zoom out. So on page one of one, so that's hacked. Let's go to page two. It's cut page three. Well, you see how it kind of bleeds over into the third page? We can go to page four as well. So if you get some blank pages or some text bleeding over into another, then it probably means you're exceeding the width of the page, or in this case, I over-exaggerated my margins. I made them five inches so I could give you an example to work with and how to uh, straighten them up and try to fit everything onto one page. In any case, we're working with our margins. So to do that, I'm in Print Preview. You can come up here on the Print Preview tab, go to the Page Layout group, and click on Page Setup. And well, that's ridiculous, right? Five inches. So we can come in here and change that to a quarter inch. And then having said that, if we needed to, we could probably even go to 0.15 and then click OK and try to get our margins as tiny as possible so we can squeeze everything so you don't have text bleeding over from one page to another or some blank pages. In fact, if I want to view more than two pages at once, well, come up here in the Zoom group, click on More Pages. Let's go to four. You can even click and go to eight pages if you had more pages in any case. You can see now that I don't have any blank pages or pages that have some text on it, but it couldn't fit it all there because I have my margins where it can fit everything onto one page. In fact, this left margin is pretty tight. I can actually increase it and push it out more towards the center by coming up here to the page setup, or let me close out. You can come over here to the uh, page size group, click on the margins drop down arrow, and here's my last custom setting. I changed it back to a quarter of an inch. It used to be five inches. That was ridiculous. In any case, that's narrow. We can make it wide. And if we make those margins wide, well, we're cutting down more trees. I hope you feel good about that. No, I'm just kidding. But it actually spreads it out here so it's more centered and it looks nicer, even though it adds an extra page. Now, if you're really having issues with your margins and you shrunk your margins, both top and bottom and left and right, to as small as you can get them and you're still having issues, you may want to consider changing it from portrait to landscape. Click on landscape and See, wow, you got more room, but it's going to print obviously sideways instead of straight up and down, and that's how it's going to come out on those sheets of paper there. And then I can go ahead and click print, and when I'm finished, close out. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos, and for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.